Today I am going to explain how to find derivative of second inverse x by first principle which is also known as ab initio. So let y is equal to second inverse x. So it implies that sec y is equal to x or x is equal to sec y. Let it be equation number 2. Now let delta x be the increment given to x and delta y be the corresponding increment in y then equation number 2 becomes x plus delta x is equal to sec y plus delta y transposing x to right hand side we have delta x is equal to sec y plus delta y minus x substituting the value of x from equation number 2 in terms of y that is x is equal to sec y in this equation we have delta sec y plus delta y minus sec y so as we know that sec is the reciprocal of cos and vice, and vice versa sec may be written as 1 upon cos so delta x may be written as 1 upon cos y plus delta y minus 1 upon cos y taking LCM cos y plus delta y into cos y in the numerator we have cos y minus cos y plus delta y now we may apply cos c minus cos d in the numerator which is equal to 2 sin c plus d upon 2 into c 2 sin c minus d minus c by 2 cos c minus cos d is equal to 2 sin c plus d upon 2 into sin d minus c upon 2 so applying this formula in the numerator we have 2 sin y plus y delta y upon 2 into sin d minus c this angle minus this angle so y plus delta y minus y upon 2 divided by cos y plus delta y into cos y here in this bracket negative positive y will cancel negative y and we have 2 sin 2y plus delta y upon 2 into sin delta y upon 2 divided by cos y plus delta y into cos y. Now dividing both sides by delta y we get dividing both sides 
by delta y we get delta x upon delta y is equal to 2 sin 2y plus delta y upon 2 into sin delta y upon 2 divided by cos y plus delta y into cos y into 1 upon delta y because we have divided both sides by delta y. So as we know that any term from the numerator may be shifted to denominator of the denominator. So this 2 may be written in the denominator of delta y here. So we get sine if we split this up 2y upon 2 becomes y plus and delta y upon 2. So this may be written as sine y plus delta y upon 2 into sine delta y upon 2 upon delta y and this 2 in denominator of delta y upon cos y plus delta y into cos y. Now taking limit taking limit delta y tends to 0 on both sides on both sides we get limit delta y tends to 0 delta x upon delta y is equal to limit delta y tends to 0 sine y plus delta y upon 2 upon cos y plus delta y into cos y into sine delta y upon 2 upon delta y upon 2. So as we know in the differential calculus limit delta y tends to 0 delta x upon delta y may be written as dx upon dy. So we get on the left hand side dx upon dy is equal to on the right hand side if we apply the limit here we may substitute delta y is equal to 0 so it becomes sine y simply divided by here we are left with cos y because y plus 0 cos y and cos y into cos y and this is the standard limit sine x upon x when x tends to 0 is equal to 1 so the same structure this expression has del limit delta uh, y tends to 0 sine delta y upon 2 upon delta y upon 2 limit. So we have dx upon dy is equal to sine y upon cos y into cos y. Now as we know that sine upon cos becomes 10, so one cos with this sign becomes 10 and other cos becomes sec in the numerator because the cos is the reciprocal of sec. So this is equal to 10y into sec y. Now taking the reciprocal of the equation we have dy upon dx is equal to 
वन अपॉन सेक वाई इंटू टेन वाई एंड एज वी नो दैट टेन स्क्वेर थीटा इज इक्वल टू सेक स्क्वेर थीटा माइनस वन सो वी मे राइट टेन वाई एज अंडर रूट टेन स्क्वेर वाई एंड देन आफ्टर वी मे राइट इट एज सेक वाई एंड टेन स्क्वायर बाय यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला वी मे राइट सेक स्क्वायर वाई माइनस वन एंड एज वी हैव नेम इक्वेशन टू एज एक्स इज इक्वल टू सेक वाई बिकॉज सो सेक वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स सो वी मे रिप्लेस सेक वाई बाय एक्स इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो वी हैव वन अपॉन x under root 1 minus x square minus 1 1 upon x under root x square minus 1 because sec y is x from equation number 2 so this way we find the derivative of sec inverse x as 1 upon x under root x square minus 1 so this is the proof of the derivative of sec inverse x with the help of first principle find the differential coefficient of cosec inverse x as minus 1 upon x under root x square minus 1 so you better try yourself thank you very much for watching this video